I'm not doing anything illegal, am I? Okay, well, you might be. What's that? Okay. I am, I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are going to be disappointed to learn that Mr. Clean has veered from the path of disinfecting and cleaning to a life of badged criminality. On Friday, October 17th, 2014, Troy Stevenson saw what appeared to be a police SWAT team raid in Tracy, California. He says that he just so happened to live behind the house that was being raided when he was a kid 15 years ago. His landlord, who was a friend of his aunt, lived in the house that was being raided. He said, quote, I realized pretty quickly it was a training raid while I was across the street filming. After a few minutes of being there, a plainclothes officer approached me from behind and does not identify himself and then begins to question me about who I was and what I was doing there. I let him know that I was simply filming and that I was also going to record our conversation. He stated that I was not allowed to do so, but thankfully I started recording anyway. Here's his encounter with Tracy, California Police Department Officer Ramirez, badge number 129. Station or anything? Okay. Why not? Can I help you with something? As I am allowed to film. So there's police training out there, okay? We're yeah. asking you who you yeah. are and what you're doing here. I'm not doing anything illegal, am I? Okay, well, you might be. What's that? Okay. I am, I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is my phone. Why are you taking my phone? Uh, provide. Right. My ID name, to yes. you. Oh, Wait, my name quick. is Troy Stevenson. I can verbally provide it to you. Okay. What's your birthday? I need to see a photo ID to prove it. Do I have to identify yeah. myself as a civilian in public that and I have not committed a crime? I do. Yes. Even though I've not committed a crime. When you're out here filming the police, uh huh, for no reason. For no reason. Hand away from that. Sorry, place. sorry about that. Oh yeah, you can take that actually. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't believe I'm committing any crime filming the police or being in public filming. Okay. Um, so. Will you, will you have a knife like this concealed? Is this considered it, a weapon? It obviously wasn't concealed so, since you saw it. It yeah. was on my hip, right? But when it's covered up like that, it's a concealed weapon. So, do you have your ID or not? Yes. Now, Troy had a folding pocket knife in the closed position clipped to his pocket, which is legal to carry concealed in California. But Mr. Clean decided to fabricate a concealed weapons probable cause for his investigation and detention. Okay, do you have any other weapons on you? No, sir. I'm gonna pat you down, okay? No, I absolutely do not consent to any searches. I'm not, I'm not searching. I do not consent to any searches. Not searching. Please don't touch my phone. Well. Um, once again, after our illegal search, my, I'm oh, sorry, I'm, my hands are in my pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, my birthday is what was your name again? Officer Are you? Ramirez. Officer Ramirez. Tracy, okay, what's yes. your badge number? 129. 129. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Do you have your ID? Um, yes, I was attempting to give it to you when you when you searched me and I dropped my wallet. Where did my wallet go? We'll find it. I think your partner might have just picked my wallet up and took it with it. Right there. Because it was in my hand when you attempted to search me and I yeah. dropped it because you were grabbing my hands. And now my wallet is not on the ground where it had fallen. So where did my wallet go? Your partner has my wallet, correct? Getting your ID, yes. Oh, your partner picked up my wallet, stole my wallet off the ground, steal my wallet. and is now taking my ID out of it. So what is your purpose for filming this? Because of stuff like this. You guys doing illegal searches and committing crimes. Okay. And so do I have to provide my ID if I have not committed any crime in public? Like technically, you, technically if, you want, if you want to come yeah and be within our proximity i wasn't yes, in your we proximity have right, we have a right to know who we're talking to okay great now you can see for yourself about how far away troy was from the swat operation so what exactly constitutes our proximity be within our proximity we know cops like to drop imaginary safety bubbles to keep their fragile selves safe but it looks to me like Troy was pretty far back. And this Mr. Clean guy clearly has no respect for Americans who dare to exercise their rights. I'll tell you what, if our country ever got invaded by foreign troops, 
people like Ramirez would be the first to defect to the other side and hand you and I over to the enemy. That's fine. Since you guys all agree that a citizen not committing any crimes has to provide so, their ID. So your whole purpose is you, you're just trying to start a confrontation. No, so. no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Actually, that's what I'm gathering. No, people. absolutely not. I actually just, you know, I saw some stuff going on in public. I was interested in it. Figured I'd film it because it was interesting, which yeah. is a right as an American citizen. Don't you love that the very people who specialize in starting unnecessary confrontations are usually the ones who start nearly every one of these confrontations? Your whole purpose is you, you're just trying to start a confrontation. And then they turn around and blame the guy they're victimizing for starting the confrontation. Um, so, so a knife concealed like this, that is a concealed knife. How is it concealed? It's in your pocket. It was yeah, it I was actually it. out of my pocket. You saw it. I have it on video no. that you saw it, asked about it, and I gave it to you. Your hand went for it. That's, That's absolutely not true. Absolutely not true. Okay. Have I committed any crimes? Concealed weapon, yes. Am I being detained? No. We're checking you out, yeah. Okay, so we'll I am being what detained. Your, what your purpose okay, is. great. So once you find out everything, then you'll be on your way. Great. What was your name again, officer? Snarrows. Cisneros, mm -hmm. what's your badge number? 126. 126. How are you guys doing? I don't have any problem with you guys. You guys didn't uh, didn't illegally search me or stop me for no reason or hold me for no reason. Um, but these two, these two did. They're both parked in a no parking zone. Here you go. You're free to go. Okay, great. Have a good day. Do I have to go? You can't be in our way. It's okay. Crazy. Sorry. I'll get out of your way. I have to cross the street. Have a good day, yeah. Over there? That side, yeah. That side. Yeah. Okay. You officers have a good day. I will be filing complaints on you two okay. for your illegal searches. It's called a pat down for weapon. Look it up. Okay. I'll look it up. Don't you just love how smug these guys can be as they violate the very rights they promise to protect? The clincher on all this is that there are many members of the general public who think this kind of treatment of Americans by today's law enforcement goons is no big deal. That stops like this are a mere inconvenience, not an unconstitutional stop. They believe that the interest of perceived public safety justifies unnecessary harassment and detention. Little do they know that historically that ends up really, really bad for the general public. But you guys both admitted that, you know, you thought that I was committing a crime filming you. I'm not committing any crimes filming you. He tried to take my phone out of my hand. He also you picked know, my wallet up off the ground. Controlling. He thought I'd you're, my you're controlling. Phone. Okay, uh, that's, you're a, that's a good excuse you've got there. Okay, um, okay great. You officers have a good day. You too. Try not to abuse your power, please. Yeah. Citizens, we appreciate it when you don't. You guys, you know, all have a, have an oath to uphold. Enjoy your safety. Have a good day. Enjoy your safety. I'll tell you what, those who give up essential liberty for temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. The link to the original video will be in the description. Leave your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, grab some merch, become a channel member, and know what your rights are and exercise them so you can live free. I'll see you in the next video.